how to update your PlayStation 5 controller on PC. The PlayStation 5 DualSense controller has now a firmware update app for Windows so you can update, upgrade your firmware, the software on your controller without the PlayStation 5. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it works, how you can do that. If you appreciate it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. If you have any other questions about the PlayStation 5 controller or the PlayStation 5 or connecting it to the PC or whatever, write them down in the comment section and maybe I'm going to make a video about the question you ask. Okay guys, so many people are using the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to play games like Fortnite or FIFA on your PC. So far you need the PlayStation 5 to update the firmware, the software on the controller, but now Sony has released an app for Windows which allows you to update your PlayStation 5 controller on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. All you need to do is you have to connect the controller via cable. Uh, there are some limitations, we're going to talk about this in a minute, and you need to download the app from Sony. The link to the app is in the description of the video, just check it out to download the app for free. Talking about limitations, um, you need Windows 10 or Windows 11, Windows 8 and Windows 7 do not work, and you need a 64 bit version of the operation system. The PS5 controller update app is not compatible with the 32 bit versions of Windows. Another important issue is that you can only update the firmware on the controller via cable. You cannot do it via Bluetooth. You can connect your PlayStation 5 controller to PC via Bluetooth, but for the update, you need to connect it via USB cable. Just connect the uh, cable, for instance, the one which comes with your PlayStation 5 or any other USB cable, uh, put in like the USB-C connector here into the controller and then use the other side of the cable which can be USB-B or USB-C connector to your PC in the USB-B or USB-C slot uh, or port and then you have a connection and you can actually update the controller. Okay, now, now let me show you how to do it in real time. So we're gonna download the app. Okay, so this is a website you find in the description of the video. Just go there, download the app, click on the download button. You see the app is already downloaded. In my case, uh, I use the Chrome browser. You see there is the uh, program, the app. You just have to double click it or to click it to start it. Um, there's going to be a window for Windows asking you if you're sure you want to install it. Okay, so this window is going to pop up. It's going to ask you for the question you want to install the app in because my PC is set to German by default. It's going to be in German. If you have your PC in Polish or English or whatever, it's going to be your native language. So uh, just do it in, yeah, I'm doing it in English for you know uh, presenting purposes. So you see the software is installing. Okay, so then the setup opens, just click next, read the license agreement and accept it. Uh, of course, I read it before I installed the software. So, you know, I know already what's in there. You should always read these things um, before you, you know, sell your liver or something. Uh, just kidding, I mean, it's safe. Uh, so next one is uh, next to choose. You can change the path where you want to install the program or the app, uh, then hit install and it's gonna install it. You see that you have the progress bar here. And once it's finished, uh, yeah, we can actually use the app. Okay, so it looks good. Um, the app is installed, so we can now launch it or we can just go you know, to Windows Start and then start the app and let's see what happens. Okay, here we are, the app uh, started. So again, it's German because my Windows is set to German. It's gonna be in the language, whatever your PC is set to. Uh, it asked me to connect the controller. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the cable into the controller, into the PC, connect them, and then I will be able to update the firmware. For that purpose, I will just use the uh, cable that came with my PlayStation 5. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the, the uh, USB-C cable, this one here, okay, uh, the end. You can use any cable, you can use any USB-C cable, okay, into the controller. And the other side, which is a uh, USB, I think it's B, USB-B, mail. So I'm gonna connect it to the PC, and then let's see what the software does. Okay guys, so I'm back from uh, crawling under my table. So I connected the controller, you see it's charging now, it indicates that it's charging. Uh, it tells me that it's on the, it, the latest firmware is already installed, okay? So when you have the latest software version, you cannot update the firmware on the controller anymore. Uh, problem is I cannot downgrade the software, so I cannot actually show you now because you know my controller is already up to date. However, uh, if your controller was not up to date, it will tell you like, hey, your controller version is this. Uh, the newest firmware version for the PlayStation 5 
5 DualSense controllers that do you want to update? Just click on update, click on start and wait, okay? Wait, don't touch your controller, don't remove it until the firmware update is done. It's very important when you update any kind of hardware, never disconnect them, just wait. It can sometimes take five minutes, 10, 15, depending on what you're updating. Uh, for instance, the TV or uh, your main board on your PC or whatever, even the PlayStation update, right? Never uh, touch it, never disconnect it, just let it update. And yeah, then you have the newest firmware update, the newest version on your controller. Okay, this is how it works. Okay, I hope the video was helpful. If yes, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you have any questions, write them down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. See ya, bye-bye.